Good morning everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited today. It's the first day we're gonna be out in the fields this spring hauling liquid manure. I just gotta get this rubber end on our fill spout right there. It keeps falling off and shooting into the tank. So I gotta clean this off a little bit, scrape it off with a knife maybe, and then we'll get that rubber end attached. The point of that thing is so I can watch it flick into the tank here and know when to stop backing up. So I went ahead and, and uh, scratched it up a lot with the utility knife and that's given it a little bit of grip. Hopefully when I tighten that rubber around it, it's not gonna slide as quickly now. Okay, so we uh, tighten those two hose clamps up as good as we could. Put a new hose clamp on there as well with it. But uh, I think the best thing that's gonna prevent it from coming loose so quickly is we took the bottom six inches of that pipe off. It's just gonna make it a lot lighter. The liquid running through it isn't gonna grip so much material on the rubber, and hopefully it doesn't shoot into the tank like it usually does. Okay, we're in our other Magnum, the pump retractor. We're fired up for the first time here. Let's make sure everything goes good. Filling up. Oh yeah, that lagoon starts to stir up right away. Well, that's our first load filled. Started stirring up the pit pretty good already. I'm not gonna leave it agitating while I go out to the field for the first couple loads, but after we'll leave it agitating. It's stirring up pretty good already. It's moving all the way back there. So I think this crust will be broken up pretty quick if we do leave it agitating. We're gonna walk around the tank, make sure all the tires are still good round. They are on this side. Okay, that one's, that one's definitely a little low, so we'll go put some air in there. Just at the shop filling the tires. That thing was pretty low. I think it had about 15 PSI, and that one's got 20 PSI. So two tires to put some air into this morning before we get that first load out to the field. Shots for 
the video? Yeah, no problem. Do you think you can do this job? No, I think you're just too good at it that you can just keep going. That's fine with me, it's an awesome job. <laughs> so a little bit about our manure hauling setup. We obviously got our MX-35, that's our main tanker tractor. The 7900 Canadian gallon Huel Gia manure tank, quad axle, three axle steer, and then we also have the Magnum in front of our Gia six inch lagoon pump. So we got to deal with quite a bit of liquid manure on our farm. We kind of figure a rough estimate about one tank per day is produced of manure on the farm. And that includes all the wash water from the parlor, the milk tank, and then all the manure that the cows produce inside of those cow barns. But uh, it seems to be a little bit more. We're probably actually closer to about 400 loads. 365 is in ideal conditions. You know, you get a little bit of precipitation throughout the year and that all goes into the lagoon. So right now I'm doing about 14 minute round trips. So that is a lot of time worth of hauling. Uh, we try to do as much by ourselves with our own equipment, but we do occasionally bring out the custom crew once a year and they come with their noon lagoon crawler and they agitate all the solids up off of the bottom of our lagoon. That is pretty much mandatory for us now. Otherwise, we do need to go in there with a wheel loader and a bunning manure spreader and scoop it out. I did that once before. I never want to do that again if I do not need to. It is a incredibly dry job that took me like 10 days to do or something. So that, we'll, we'll try and avoid that if we can. But um, yeah, 285 horsepower tractor. Uh, this setup weighs a total of 60 tons when it's fully loaded and uh, we can get it going up to about 30 kilometers an hour on the road. Uh, we could technically go a little bit faster with this tractor. I am not comfortable doing that. It's way too much weight going way too fast down the road. Um, three of the axles do steer. The third axle is rigid. It doesn't steer. The back and the two front ones do and that really helps pull this tank around and uh, help it maneuver. If you didn't have steering axles, I believe you would rip the tires right off of the rims and uh, just because you'd be pulling it sideways so much. It takes me about four to five minutes to empty the tank and about three to fill it. This is our six inch pump. It's got a spout on there. It just peaked up above the water level. And that sprays, and we can use that to break up the crust if there is a crust, but there wasn't a big one this spring. Tank's looking full. We got the controls right here for the pump. Also has the impeller at the bottom which gets the whole pit stirring. I do leave it running now when I go out to the field just so I can mix up. I've been running it for probably seven hours today and there's maybe only a quarter of the crust left on that far side. Unfortunately there is going to be a lot of solids left in this lagoon by the time we're done hauling this spring. Uh, that's just because of our sand and manure in the freestall barn. It mixes in with the manure solids and we're actually usually left with about five feet worth of solids at the bottom of our pit. So we only get, ever get it half empty in the spring, but so that's okay. We'll take those five feet out and then later on this summer or maybe in the fall, we'll get that custom crew out with that lagoon agitator and they'll empty it all the way. Most of you guys know I've made quite a few videos of hauling liquid manure so I went to a previous video and 
I've looked at the comment section and looked for some questions that you guys left there. So the next parts here, we're just gonna be answering some. I'll put the questions up on the screen as I do answer these questions. So first one, how long with the manure pit last until next need to empty? Um, so this will, we got room for 240 loads. Say hypothetically we produce 400 per year. Uh, well, that's gonna be, you know, just over six months of storage before we'll have to empty it again. Now this spring, I'll lower it down till the level of solids. So there'll still be about five feet left and that'll only get us about three months. So uh, we're gonna have to pump it now, probably midsummer, right away after barley silage. And then again, this fall, and then we'll get that crew out to help us out and uh, empty it all the way down. Next question, Jan, does putting sand onto the field hurt it in any way? Um, nothing that we can see in the short term. I'm sure, you know, if we did what we're doing for a hundred years, yeah, probably. Um, you know, at the end of the day, hopefully this is a short term solution and we will eventually maybe, you know, five, 10, 15 years down the road, look into a uh, sand reclamation system and putting it in the barn over there. Um, this is an expensive cost uh, investment and we just don't want to do it right now. Maybe something to look into in the future. The next question we got here goes about um, applying manure at a allowable rate. So uh, I don't know exactly what the rules are out here. I probably should, but I don't. Uh, I'll, I'll answer this question starting out with, I think it's absolutely ludicrous that there's regulations about this anywhere in the world. Um, if you're a farmer and you're over applying manure to your field, you're only hurting yourself. It annoys me when, you know, governments start to regulate things like this. It's my land, it's my manure. And uh, if I wanna hurt myself putting too much manure on there, I could do that myself. Uh, on the other hand, you know, I should have all the freedom in the world to do what I want with my own stuff. Uh, that's kinda how I think. But um, to answer your question, yes, we have about 2,500 acres of land. If we produce about 4.4 million gallons of manure in a year, that equals about 1,700 gallons per acre. That's all rough math, but uh, that would be theoretically well within the allowable rates that you are allowed to apply manure per acre. Again, I think the saying that in and of itself is crazy, but it is what it is. And the last question here, hey guys, new subscriber question, can you not spread throughout the year so the tank does not get so full? This is a good question. We can't spread manure for the six months of winter. And of course I cannot spread liquid manure or solid when there's crops out in the fields because we'll just destroy the crops. So we got like a small window in the spring and a small window in the fall after harvest is done where we are actually able to get out on the fields and spread manure. So makes this job a bit of a, you know, hurry up and get it done kind of job. You don't have all the time in the world to go spread manure. But um, that's why you'll see us sometimes hauling 24 hours a day. Someone will do a 12 hour shift during the day. Someone will do a 12 hour shift at night. And that just makes for some really long days. But it does allow us to get all the manure hauled in a timely manner.
Well guys, that is it for today's video. It is just about nine o'clock in the evening and I gotta milk again tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna go to bed pretty quickly here. Tomorrow we're supposed to get some rain, some snow. It's supposed to get down to zero degrees, get pretty ugly. Otherwise I'd probably continue hauling manure, but uh, we'll see what the weather does tomorrow. I'll milk and then if it stays dry, I'll start hauling. If not, we'll figure something else out to do. But I guess we'll have to see tomorrow. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.